Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment in our Character Spotlight series for Marvel Contest of Champions. And today, we will be looking at a truly interesting character in particular as to how they are built and how their kit works in this game, because there's no other character in the entirety of this game whose play style varies based off of a real life event or cycle and that of course is moon knight but it makes a lot of sense as to why his kit would have that ability and we'll talk about that at length over the course of today's video so you can know how to best take advantage of using this character in combat as we get started, make sure that you check to see if you are subscribed to the channel. If you're not, please go ahead and fix that for me as that greatly helps me out. And if you find today's video helpful, interesting, and or enjoyable, make sure that you leave a like. So let's talk a little bit about Moon Knight and how he works because he is truly unique among the cast of characters. So with a lot of Moon Knight's kit, and this is even just basic as to how he works, he has certain abilities based off of the phase of the moon and whether or not it is waxing or working towards full or waning or working towards a new moon, in case you didn't know what those terms meant when it comes to speaking of the moon's phases. So as a passive ability, Moon Knight will have a difference in power that he gains based off of the phase of the moon. So that's just kind of something that you have to keep in mind is he will gain power differently throughout the month and you just have to be sensitive to that. With any attack that Moon Knight lands, he has an 8% chance to gain a critical boost rating to his attacks as the moon is approaching full or as it is waxing and that critical hit rating doesn't last for a long time it has a three second duration but it is a decently strong increase to his critical hit rating or that cruelty increase to those attacks when and if he does gain them and as the moon wanes or again works closer to being a new moon he has a similar chance to gain a fury buff which isn't quite as strong lasts for five seconds instead of three and has a 10 percent chance to activate on any given attack that moon knight lands the other benefits that are allowed to him based off of the phase of the moon is under the light of a full moon on his critical hits, he has a 15% chance to stun the opponent for three seconds. And it's not a very significant chance for that stun to activate, but he also has a six hit combo, so there is a decent chance of getting that stun to activate when attacking into your opponents. And that's still a pretty nifty thing to have in his kit, all things considered. And in addition to that perk that activates under the full moon specifically, any time he lands a critical hit in any phase of the moon, he has a 70% chance to inflict a bleed on his opponent, which lasts for 3 seconds and deals a moderate amount of damage to them. Now, when Moon Knight is being attacked under the darkness of a full moon, he has a 5% chance to evade incoming attacks. So if you're going into a fight against a Moon Knight under a new moon, be aware that he may dart back away from one of your incoming attacks unless you have something to negate it, such as True Strike or True Accuracy or some other evade negating effect. That's really everything that applies to the moon phases, at least until we talk about the signature ability. Now with the special attack one, he has an additional critical hit rating, but it's a very minor boost, all things considered. It is a little beneficial because it has four different strikes and each of those strikes can activate a bleed or has that 70% chance to activate a bleed. So having an increase to the critical rating really helps with that. And and on the special 2, if he activates any bleed effects by attacking into his opponents, they will have a 50% increased duration. And most of his bleeds last 3 seconds, so a 50% increase increases that by... Uh, increases that duration by a second and a half for a four and a half second bleed and that does not factor in any adjustments that are made for the deep wounds masteries if you are using that particular mastery layout that's everything in his basic kit but we still need to talk a little bit about his signature ability the synodic tide 
and this will allow Moon Knight to either bolster his own power rate gain by up to, I believe, 30 or 35 percent once it's at its maximum efficiency, or he will cause his opponents to have a decreased combat power rate of the same margin, and this will alternate every six hours. So you'll have an opportunity to use either of those benefits in the morning or in the afternoon, depending on what cycle you're playing in when you have that active, and you will see a little passive indicator on the opponent or above yourself that will indicate which way that benefit is currently active when going into any of your fights. Now, I don't really think that there's a lot of things that would need to be adjusted with Moon Knight, but I would like to see a couple of additional things added to him just to make him a little bit more viable. I wouldn't mind it if his critical rating duration or his fury uh, or his fury durations based off of the waxing and waning phases of the moon. I wouldn't mind it if those were both longer lasting and had a higher chance to activate just because that would make him a little bit more viable, especially in the current meta with a lot of the very powerful characters that we've had come around here. And I also think that it would be beneficial for Moon Knight to be immune to any ill repercussions that might be laid upon him by his opponents when and if he inflicts them with a bleed and if that opponent has some sort of passive counter or puts an ill effect back upon Moon Knight. I feel like being protected by the Egyptian... Uh the Egyptian goddess of death, Khonshu, I feel like he should be protected from those type of ill effects, or at least have a significantly reduced chance to have those ill effects placed on him. That would make him a much better... That would make him a much better counter to characters like Abomination and Elsa Bloodstone and other characters that will uh, cause harm to those who cause their opponents to bleed. Though I wouldn't mind it if it extended to characters such as Dormammu or Magic with kind of the passive damage that they're able to deal over the course of fights as well. But what do you think? Do you think there's changes or adjustments that need to be made to Moon Knight? Would you like to see the character completely overhauled? Or do you think he's fine just the way that he is? Be sure to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And we will see if we continue doing this series or if it gets switched out for something a little bit different. Thanks so much for your time, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.